Hey guys, uh, we have here with us uh, who? Uh, Liam De Bono. And uh, you got what placing in uh, the Oceanics? Um, I threw a chance to go to Worlds in top eight. <sighs> so... <laughs> but top eight is still a pretty uh, significant achievement. So congratulations on your top eight. Thank you. So uh, what did you decide to play for this event? Um, so I spent most of my time testing Life Twin Sprites. Um, and then a friend, two friends sent me a Go second catch theory list, it looked really good. Yep. Um, so the Friday before I got the cards, tested and theoried with Elliot and Dom, and decided to play catch Jira, uh, go second. What are your thoughts on it after the event? Would you have changed your deck preference, or you happy with that? I think the deck was definitely correct. My elimination was just searching the, searching the wrong card off Fenrir in game 3. Ah, so um, it was like more of a misplay as opposed to... Yeah, like it was like the, the, one, the one like big misplay. I did a weekend and it cost me a chance to go to Worlds. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But uh, still a amazing achievement, so you want to go straight into the deck? Uh, sure. Let's go. Uh, two Unicorn, uh, three Fenrir, two Rise Heart, Skirtclaw, and the Tailment. Maybe should have been three instead of one of the other, instead of like the last card in the deck. Yeah. Uh, these come up when you when you have like game states where you, where you want to activate both effects. Um, both the effects to banish and add back a birth. Yeah. In like really weird game states. Um but it was fine. So you didn't play any uh, any shifter in the main? Uh no no hand traps in the main. Um just pure go second. I thought breakers? Yeah, I thought all the hand traps were like very mid. Except Shifter. Um but Shifter against like what I thought would be like the most represented deck. They just like mannequin cat your shifter, summon chaos on top. Yeah. And just can't play the game. Yeah. Um so I wanted, Fair to, I wanted to avoid as much of that as possible. Uh, three planets, terraforming. Yep, very good. Theosis, birth. That's like all the engine cards. Triple thrust. Double talents. How were these for you all? All tournament. Um, they were the best cards in my. They were the best cards in my deck, or they access the best cards in my deck. Yeah, thrust um, was insane for you. Yeah, thrust was. Abs like crazy, crazy. Yeah. Um, Shangri Era, Sanctifier, like everything, hand traps. Yeah. Um, so every, every basically every deck has like something to trigger thrust, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I guess we go to the terrorism part of the deck. Three, yeah. da three dark ruler. <laughs> uh, three dark hole. Three dark hole. Wow. Uh, this card was this card was like really good. Uh, drew it in combination with dark ruler a lot. Or like some combination of like thrust and one of these. Yeah, because like all the deck right now just kind of fall to those two cards. Like, so thrust one of these, grab the other one. Yep. Um, double storm. Yep. Uh, played main deck harpies and two cosmic. Um, what matchups were those for mostly? So they were for the runic fountain. Yep. Um, but also like cosmic against Kashira is. Actually, not too bad because this deck, some like you activate your blowouts, you get them like into very like simplified game states, and cosmic on planet or birth is just right. Just like confirms game. Yeah, so you like you clear everything. Their, their follow up just doesn't yeah. do anything because you lose to cosmic. Um, post side as well, cosmic's really good. Yeah. Um, I expect a lot of people to put anti spell fragrance against me. Yeah, and did you get anti spell that often? Uh, I got anti spell a couple of times. One of the times I had cosmic, the other time set five hurt my opponent didn't draw into a monster. He didn't draw into a monster. Then I activated. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then you're, then you're all good. Um, we played five pots. Um, just to see the best cards in the deck. Yep. The Harpies, the Storms, the Dark Holes, the Talents, the Thrust. Yep. Etc, etc. And the one evenly. Yep. Um, this was the 41st card. It could either be cut completely or become the third Rise, or, or become the third rise Heart. Yep. Um, perhaps. Did uh, evenly or Thrust into evenly ever come up for you that often playing um, this version? Because you are playing a lot of blowout cards. So yeah, did so they, they even come up. I, I did see it sometimes. It did come up. It was it was really good. Yeah. Um, I I think I, I think like if if I went back, if I went back and had my time at the event, I would play it again. Yeah. Um. So you were happy with the evenly overall? Yeah, like the main deck. Like I was happy with like every, like the whole sixty something whatever cards in the deck. Yeah. Like, That's good. Um. Extra deck. I summoned, I summoned these two cards. I summoned Shangri Era once. <laughs> Like the whole tournament. The whole tournament. I summoned Shangri-Era once. So you're, while, while, while you're bored, you, cr you crack the board and you just sit on four 
or like a rise hug with like a bunch of random stuff? Uh, I crack their board and then like end on and just like kill them. Yep. If I dark wall them, then I end on like two Fenrir's or like two Fenrir's unicorn mostly. Yep, yep. Uh, summon this one once. Uh, these two big guys, I summoned this like a fair few times. So th this was your, your main boss monster? Uh, I think the main boss monster was Dark Arms. Oh, yes, I played two, very good that one. was really good. Two Zeus. Did the second Zeus ever come up? Uh, it was good for prosperity sometimes. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Long for the ulti. <laughs> Draco Sack, which I never summoned. Uh, Flare Metal, um, because it's another, it's a rank 7 with a different name. And one Master of Blades. Did this ever come up for you? Uh, it came up against like a Sword Soul super heavy synchro deck yep. that ends on like infinite negates or whatever. Uh, I could like play through his board except like the Shishal. So you make this one to then force I, then it. I, then I make that one attack and then just force force like attack the um, Shishal because I have fun at yep. uh, force from Zeus. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, Donna, you can summon it sometimes. Baron, you can summon it sometimes. Infinite Track Goliath. And that's uh, just like for the um, prosperity. It's right? for the it's for the prosperity to attach under the arise heart, which I never made. <laughs> that's the end theory. Any changes we'll do to the uh, extra deck? Uh, the extra deck was it sounds like it was irrelevant almost. Yeah, so it was like it's like these cards here could have been like I think could have been like seven vanilla fusions, and I wouldn't have noticed a difference. Yeah, these just never came off for you. <laughs> the two cash <laughs> cards. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it makes sense with the uh, board breaker version, right? Because you don't really go into your extra deck. You just yeah. Fenrir is enough to beat yeah. most decks after you clear. Um, like if I'm dark holding their board and like have a monster, it's just like game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, side deck, uh, three shifter. Yep, there he is. Uh, three ash, three bell. Um, these go in against most matchups. If post side, if you think your opponent's gonna go, gonna make you go first, mm -hmm. uh, because they actually do something. When you go first and you draw them, unlike Dark Ruler and shit like that. Yep, and, it, and you, even if you get like, you don't get like snake charmed into it, you can still use them for a second. Mm. It's like perfectly fine. Uh, I think I summoned Baron with this one. I don't know. <laughs> uh, three Lance, which was like the hedge card. Um, if I wasn't sure what my opponent was going to do per side, I can put in Lance and it's pretty safe either way, going first or second. Yeah, just like pushing through your effects, right? Mm hmm. Just like Book of Moon and Perm. Yeah. Like that, I was really scared of. Well, not really scared because of the board breakers, but like Book of Moon and cards like that. Yep. Um, and three anti spell fragrance. Yeah, that's a really good card into Oceanix. It felt like a lot of people were playing Runix this tournament, so it was a good call. Yeah. Um, this card was fine. It probably could have been like controller or something. Yep. And yeah, that's the deck. Yep. Any uh, final changes that you would have made to? Uh... Uh, I think only the anti spell maybe, for something else. Yep. Um, I'm just sad I'm not going to Worlds. <laughs> Uh, it's unfortunate. Um, but shout outs to Frozen Card Gaming and all the sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, to Orion and Arvin for sending me the list, and for Elliot and Dom for perfecting the list, mm -hmm. testing, like play testing with me. Um, to all the people who lent me cards, all the people I've stayed with, it's been really good. And shout out to Bowden for the where, where they tell you it'll be okay, <laughs> because I don't think it'll be okay. But thank you for telling me it'll be okay. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, yeah, congratulations once again. Uh, see you guys next time. Thank you.